Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and I pray and I hope that each one of you had a beautiful and a safe night's sleep. I definitely pray that when your eyes opened this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to get it right, just in case I missed something on yesterday. You've given me another opportunity, and I do thank you for that. You may be getting up and getting dressed to go to work, drop the children off to school, go to the grocery store, go to the beauty shop, go to the mall, go and visit the sick to do your missionary work today. Whatever your endeavor is before you start your busy morning, I ask you to open your ears and radiate your mind and let it flow on down to your heart. And let the heart pump the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is value. Value. You know, they used to have a store called, a store called Value and you had these little uh, stamps and you could collect so many stamps and you can get something free. We all have things in life that we value. We all have people in our lives that we value more than someone else. Um, you know, some people value their homes and their cars and their education and their money. And they value their looks and their clothes. They just, they value everything down here earthly wise. But I'm going to ask you this morning, <clears throat> how much do you value yourself? Do you value yourself enough to choose Christ Jesus as your Savior? Do you value yourself enough to walk in his stature and live the life that he so desired that we live? Do you value that person? That's the key. See, if you value that person, then you're going to value everybody else that God sent through your life. Let's look at the definition of value. Regard that thing which is held with the utmost desire, and it deserves everything. The importance of worth and useful of things holding something in high regard. What do you value in life most of all? The Bible definition value is a principle of standards about what is important in one's life? Believers, now listen at this now. Believers' values are the principles that a follower of Jesus Christ holds as most important than anything in the world. The only principles of life that means anything and that we should hold with the most high regard is the principles of Jesus Christ. Let's look at what Luke 12 and 7 says. But even the very hair of your head are all numbered. Woo-wee. That's an awesome somebody that regards you and I high enough that can count the strands of hair on our head, presents a degree of knowledge which is beyond the ability of any, any human being to comprehend. If you are not in Jesus Christ and he's not in you, you will never understand or comprehend this verse. You'll never understand that 
God Almighty, His Son, and the Holy Spirit can count the strands of hair on your head. But you got to be in Him to understand that. And it goes on to say, Fear not, therefore, you are more valuable than many sparrows. Isn't that awesome? He thinks enough of us. He values us that high that he can count the strands of hair on our head. Mm. This is for those who truly follow the Lord Jesus. Remember I said that. If you are not a believer of him, then you will never understand this verse. These words shall be great comfort to all believers. If he can count the strands of hair on your head, don't you know that he values you enough that he's going to take care of you? That he will meet all of your needs in this world. And guess what? He did that when he sent his son to Calvary. He secured all of your needs. These words should be of great comfort to believers. And every action is known by him. And he will supersede every action. He knows it. And he's going to supersede it. If trouble comes your way, don't worry. He got you. If sickness comes your way, don't stress. He got you. Whatever comes your way, you don't have to worry. Because he got you. If he can count the strands of hair on my head, I need not worry about what happens with everything that falls underneath the hair on my head. If we will allow him to do so, that's the key. We must allow him to do so. We must hold him with high esteem. So this morning, do you know just how blessed and valuable you are to the Lord? Do you know? To the Lord Jesus Christ, do you know? Can you feel it? Can you smile and say, I may not be valuable to you. You may not even know my name. You may not even care about me. But guess what? I know one that values me with high esteem. That he gave his life that we may live. That's why I know that we are valuable to him. Who will give up their life today that you may live? The word of God Almighty says, those that repent and believe that Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary for all that accept him as God's son. You're valuable. You're valuable. So today, you ain't got to drop your head. Even if you don't have what somebody else has, you're valuable. Even if you don't think that nobody cares about you, I'm letting you know this morning, you're valuable. So let us remember the last portion of the verse. Fear not, therefore, you are more valuable than many sparrows. Do you know your value in the Lord Jesus Christ this morning? Do you know? Is his principles leading you? Is his principles the head and the driving force in your life and nothing else. Think about all that all day long. Am I walking in his principles? Or do I know his principles? If I don't know them, get in his word. Because you're valuable. Remember that. And if the Lord Jesus Christ says the same, I will see you on Monday. Be safe. Be blessed and have 
a God full weekend. A God full weekend. Bye-bye.